I got a granddaughter who likes dressing up too. Cute as a button. She loves Peter Pan. She always asking this old timer to read it to her. She's sharp as a tack. Full of ideas, questions about the lost boys and those pirates. Probably cause, cause I never grow old. She says to me, Grandpa, are you old? <laughs> I said, yes, sweetheart, I'm old, and one day you're gonna be as old as me. And this gets her, her brains all cooking, and she says, Grandpa, are you gonna die? And I say, yes, sweetheart, of course I'm gonna die one day. Well, it's not gonna be today. Finally, she says to me, Grandpa, am I gonna die? Oh, how do you explain a question like that to a kid? So when Halloween rolls around the next year, there she is, proud as punch, she stands up and she goes, Grandpa, I'm gonna be a pirate.
Yo, bro, why don't you pick up some groceries on your way back, all right? We're running kind of low, and don't tell mom, all right, but I'm broke. Son, while you're living in D.C., we have to set some ground rules when your brother comes to stay with you. I've been patient with you, Aiden. We need those schematics by 10 a.m. tomorrow, or else we need... Mark, it's your responsibility. Come on, Aiden. Aiden, this is your mother. Pick up the phone. Aiden, pick up the phone, man. Aiden, Aiden, Aiden. 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 Not too bad. A lot of walkers. There's a shitload of the family everywhere. I think I can see the purifier. They've already hooked it up. Maya, Aiden, where are you? We found a way in. South side of the camp. Anderson, we spotted the purifier. I'm not sure about this. There is no other way. We need to get it back. Do it fast and stay quiet, or every walker in the city's gonna turn up. Oh, shit. Someone's here!
Come on! Come on! Oh, what the fuck? Get me! Oh! Motherfucker! Gun and a pulse, so that makes me your new best friend. Come on, keep up. Ah, shit. I'm out. Don't worry, I'll take you from here. Stay down. They're asymptomatic? No, absolutely not. You start housing patients who look healthy at the Civic Center, you're going to break quarantine. Oh, man. Boyd? Oh, my God. 
hard. No, don't touch him. The National Guard's holding position until the army gets here. No, it's worse. Bartlett doesn't come close, Six. Can't even say if it's terrorism or something else. I've got no operational jurisdiction. Get them to let go a little. We're not the enemy here. If this isn't terrorism, they still need us. Send thermite, duck. And I need one of the Russians. I'll explain later. And Six, send them fast before this all burns down. Where'd you dig that relic up? From under a lot of dead bodies. And they all look surprised. Same joke every goddamn time. Tell me this thing is contained. For now, but it's adapting faster than we can track. We upped the ordinance, and it created this thing. What happens if it gets loose? Mexico is south of us. Breaks quarantine and crosses the border. World's in for one long, bad night. What about nuking the town? Huh. What? Wouldn't be the first time we used a nuke in New Mexico. It's on the table, but we're here to make sure that it stays a last resort. Operatives are already on the field. Are these our hot zone specialists? Six has an eye for talent, and we need all the help we can get. This is where we turn the tide. Or drown. The parasite is building a nursery, and it's a big one. The infection comes... Son of a bitch! Jordan! We're good. Seriously? Briefing is in a minute and you're pulling apart the explosives Hold package? Hold your horses, Liza. I'm just making sure they got it right. Nurseries are the heart of the parasite's ability to adapt to our containment efforts. That up there is a nasty piece of work. Your turn. Right. With ongoing operations in the area, we can't launch any fire missions or predator strikes. So, we're gonna barbecue the nursery with these prototype nanothermite charges before it goes online. Can I say barbecue? Six won't care none, will she? The target is a hot springs resort. Maybe she has a vaccine. Maybe she has a cure. Maybe I can stop working in a quarantine tent that's lined with clay moss and C4. You're a humanitarian, and I'm not sure you can afford to be. You have a better option on the table? Because we're barely containing this. And I hope you have a solution that doesn't involve a nuclear response. I heard the talk. Okay. Let's try it your way. Let's extract Dr. McIntosh and pray to God she's got answers we can use. You see? Three days before the outbreak, NASA tracked a meteorite that fell into this area. We got confirmation that a local named Boyd Brooks hauled the object back to his salvage yard. Coincidence? No. He was trying to sell it online. This is why I called you, Your Highness. So, yeah. Very old. Wait. I'm Russian, so I'm supposed to know something about it. I thought you'd appreciate the heads up. We can leave the politics to six. Our job is to secure it. What's the plan? We move in by foot and search the area, starting with the house. Ricin, anthrax, sarin gas, Ebola, VX gas. 
Chimera viruses. Some enemies are invisible. But the CBRN threat unit is Rainbow's shield against those enemies that can kill you with a single drop of blood. Nanobots online. Big Brother are coming in for Overwatch. Or one wrong breath. Good to see you. Chris? Mom. <coughs> <laughs> Long time no see. I was beginning to think you weren't coming. No more freebies, Red. You want the supplies? You need to put aside your difference with Phillips. Yeah, I'm done playing soldiers for him. You should be too. Come on, Chris. But don't tell me you're still falling for his BS. Especially after what happened to Jason. Don't bring my son into this. Look, you know how I feel about Phillips, but he's right about one thing. This is a war. The generals just cling into the glory days. There's no chief left to hail to. Not that I'd want to. Look, I get it. No, you don't. Okay, we're surviving here. Rebuilding. Surviving's not enough. We've got to fight. Now, we don't need to do anything. All right, when was the last time you saw Ridden in any numbers? Hmm?
stitches. do you think are out there? I don't know, but I intend to find out. When Atlas dropped the bomb, they hoped it would finish the war. Instead, it unleashed a freak show like no one's ever seen. Three platoons were sent to cage their new pet. Two came back in body bags. 
an acceptable loss by Atlas standards. Then they brought it here for research. Gotta get a return on your investment. No one bothered to tell the rest of us. What the hell? There is no sub-level six. Ugh. Execs do love their secrets. Oh no. You gotta be fucking kidding me. Arlene, get me security. No. All of it. This is a code three evacuation. Oh. Remember the drill. Stay together. Try to... Son of a bitch! No warning. No backup. Approaching the landing zone and... No one left. What the hell? Get it off! But us. I fucking hate the Atlas Corporation. When we met, we had only two things in common. The wrong place and the wrong time. When you're facing a thousand mutant zombies eager to spoon out your brains, you learn to work together. Lily shot her first gun that day, like she was born to it. Ah, damn. Heads up. You're welcome. As for Khan, son of a bitch, he got his hands dirty for the first time in his life. Incoming! And Decker enjoyed it all a little too damn much. Take that, you zombie shits! Woo! We were lucky to have found each other, but our luck was running out as fast as our ammo. Shit! What now? You still got your fists! And your teeth. Oz! No! No! Get off me, mother! Yeah? You want a piece of me, you maggots? Come on! We should have died right then and there. But Atlas was all of a sudden feeling generous. Stabilizing. There is stasis. Prep for transport. I don't know how long we were out. But it was long enough for things to go from bad to worse. We're clear! Get up here! I don't like this. We got the high ground. What's not to like? We're cut off, that's what. Damn it, I told you. This is gonna fucking suck. What? It's him! Move! What the fuck, man? Do not move. Stay exactly where you are. What is this? On your knees, hands behind your hands. Resist and we will open fire. Sentinel. Been watching you a long time. Atlas did a real number on your heads, didn't they? It's nothing personal, but one of you has to go. One shot to the head, my head, and the fog lifted. His name is Lennox, works for Sentinel. They think they're the good guys. You bastard! You shot Oz! That thing you call Oz? He's the source of the infection. The bullet's not gonna stop him. What the fuck are you talking about? The man is dead. Well, so were you once. And you. And you. You see a pattern here? You ain't no zombie. Ow! Alice inbound. Five miles from closing. Ah, they're early. Load him up. He's trusting you! Move out! Dead or alive, we were Atlas's prize pets. Lennox knew they'd do anything to get us back. What nobody factored was one of the pets was about to slip his leash. That did it. 
This ship's about to become one big tax write-off. <laughs> Who pays taxes? Hey, no one gives a fuck, okay? We got two minutes before we're all guzzling seawater. Move! There! What are you doing? Oz? Are you kidding me? Oz is dead. That asshole shot him. He's just another stupid zombie. Let's just go already. Come on, people. We don't have time for this. Shit. The Atlas infection blazed like a firestorm across the Western Hemisphere, consuming everyone and everything in its path. And I was the matchless fucks had used to start it. Uh -huh. I just couldn't remember any of it until now. Shit! This place is coming apart! Take him down! But you can't stop being what you truly are. Come on! Go, go, go! Even if it's a monster. Ha! Ah, we were lucky. Lucky? Take a good look at us. Look, if we survive, chances are Oz did too. We gotta be sure. So, what happens if we find him? I think we, we all know the answer to that one, though. We picked up some close chatter. We think it's an Atlas Black site. We start there. Atlas had always posed as the savior of mankind, while constructing some of the most horrific and lethal weapons to exterminate it, all for cold, hard cash. Being, this weapon came home. So this is it. End of the line. It's better this way. I am what I am. And what I need to be is deleted from this world. Say goodbye to Big Bad Oz. Wait. I'll do it. Besides, there's only room for one monster in this world. Atlas will pay for what they did to you, Oz. And it had better watch its fucking ass. Lennox got promoted to Lieutenant Colonel for eradicating the source of the Atlas infection. He remains a total dick to this day. But I have to credit Lennox for pulling some strings and getting Decker admitted into Sentinel. Decker finally got his chance to be a proper soldier. He now fights on the front line against his former employer. Tired of the grime and the guns, Khan took up the fight against Atlas the best way he knew how, by suing them. The evidence he has amassed for his case is both substantial and damning. Of course, he had a little help from a former Atlas IT employee turned hacktivist. Atlas may stack the jury in their favor, but my bet is Lilith will serve her own brand of justice when she empties all their bank accounts. <laughs>